Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is Shy Dreams. A few weeks ago I made a video tutorial on how to fix X-ISO images um, for the original Xbox emulator. During the course of that time it seems it's like I missed a few steps. Um, I did receive some comments under the video. Um, how do you enter PowerShell? How do you... What happens if you run into uh, PowerShell when you run a command and then the red letters pop up and just uh, how to create the ISOs so today I will attempt to recreate these issues walk through them and then correct them so then basically everybody can play Xbox just like I do so here's the website to the program that I do use extracts X ISO um, and then we do have the use case scenarios, what you can do with the application. So, um, the two games that were listed in the comments under the video were Nightcaster and Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, like I said before, really don't do the whole typing thing, which they do have, so you how you can extract the ISOs under PowerShell. I'm more of a drag and drop guy myself, so we'll start with Nightcaster first. So you take it, drop it on top of the executable. It'll make a folder. In this case, you see it made Nightcaster. Now, when you use this program to recreate the ISO from this directory, you do have to shorten the name down to basically eight characters or anything to it. What I normally do is copy out the name then I take it all the way down to the bare minimum and I notice it doesn't like spaces so basically no space 8 to 9 10 characters for the folder and then that's basically where we go but then also I also test the games as well too with the other Xbox emulator that reads the XBEs so in this case get over here's the folder that the X ISO created the Nightcaster so we'll open up the default XBE as you notice it does have a logo for the game so we definitely know it's an Xbox game so we'll start it up Children can't contain their mirth, sheltered from the lake. get over to making the ISO so basically the next step is once you've taken it down to the less characters as possible you hold the shift key click the folder and you right click and then you want to go to open PowerShell here so we're definitely in the Nightcaster folder um, if you try to run the executable now because you're in the folder that you're trying to create the ISO you will get an error like if you hit enter like here it is here you'll get this error but the reason that you get it is because the ISO is not in the path so what you need to do is seeing that I created this and that with the X ISO it's outside of this path so you would come out of the path or directory run the executable
it creates the ISO and we have it here so basically we can take this name copy and get rid of this particular ISO this is the one originally and this is the one that we created paste the name back and there we have it so the Xbox the original Xbox emulator we're going to load the disk Then you hit the reset button after loading, and there we have it. We have Nightcaster running on the original Xbox emulator. Like I said, I don't really know what's going on with it. I don't know if it's completely emulated. Might want to check their compatibility list to make sure that. You know, So we definitely have that one. So that's basically the first one. So now on to the next, which is Yu-Gi-Oh! Dawn of Dust Destiny. So we'll drop it on top of the executable. We're gonna take the naming convention down um, to bare minimal. In this case, we'll use Yu-Gi-Oh! with the apostrophe. Um, open up the second emulator well we do have the logo we'll hit start emulator Definitely have an Xbox game. some rock paper scissors they had there well it definitely booted percent sure but it is working so hit stop here and then on to make the the ISO for the other emulator so like I said you hold the shift key right click you want to open up PowerShell come out of the directory down to the, the root and then you're basically going to type in the name of that directory with no spaces hit enter wait for it to create the ISO it's created successfully hit exit you can take the name copy and delete this one because we don't need it anymore and then change the name to back to what it was. So now we're gonna open, we're gonna load the disk, which is the Yu-Gi-Oh. And as you can see, it does boot. New game.
pretty cool. Okay, we'll just do it anyway. I don't know. This one. Oh wow. Oh. Rock, paper, scissors. Guess I lost that one. I probably should have went second up, because I don't really know. I've never played this game. It's the first time I've seen this. I've had it for just about that long. So, well, it looks like that one works as well, too. So, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment at the bottom. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Take care.